All right, guys, we're checking out the Jade Harvester set for the Witch Doctor in Diablo 3, patch 2.4.1. And I'm not going to lie to you, this isn't one of my favorite uh, sets or anything like that by any means. My favorite, uh, hands down, is the Helltooth, and that is what I recommend to you if you really want to push the higher, greater rifts and actually be competitive. If you're looking for some fun and you're over relying on your pet damage, then this is the build for you. Basically the way it works is we're using our Haunt and our Locust Swarm as our damage over time effect. And once all mobs or enemies around you are affected by Haunt and Locust Swarm, we use Soul Harvest, which actually triggers uh, 300 seconds of overtime or damage over time damage and just blows up. So it just blows shit up and it's it, it's it's fun to play. What the basic idea is make sure all of your enemies are affected by Haunt and Locust Swarm and bang, we hit Piranhas to group all of the enemies like together and then we hit our Soul Harvest and shit just blows up. I use Soul Smasher and Can Ice Cube as well, which really helps uh, with low bomb damage as well. It just blows shit up that much more. And that's basically it. You know, we don't have any pets. We're not relying on any pets. It's we're solely relying on our damage over time effects, making sure all enemies uh, have damage over time buffs on them, which are just haunt and locust swarm, like I mentioned. And then we group them up with piranhas, and bang, we hit uh, soul harvest, and shit just blows up. It does a lot of damage. It's huge damage. Uh, not the best against solo rift guardians. But definitely a, a fun set and a, a fun build uh, to, to do if you're over your other sort of sets like Helltooth and Zuni Masters. It's definitely a good break away from the main sets is what I'm trying to get at here. So I think you guys have seen enough. I thought I'd start off with some gameplay today. Let's head on into town and actually discuss the build itself and the gear required. See you there. Alright, so here we are back in town. Now we're going to go through our skills first. We're using Haunt with Poison Spirit. We're using Locust Swarm with Cloud of Insects. Now, Cloud of Insects actually uh, decreases the damage that enemies do to us, so definitely pretty handy. Spirit Walk with Jaunt, definitely. Um, I like the increased duration of Spirit Walk. You guys can, you can use Severance maybe if you really want to move quicker. Uh, I find that Jaunt is definitely the best for my playstyle. Soul Harvest with Languish, so we still get armor from Soul Harvest as well as killing shit with the the triggering the bombs of damage over time effects piranhas with paranado as usual to group enemies together and we're using horrify with frightening aspect to gain a bit of armor and also it'll fear enemies around us so it'll give us a bit of time to uh avoid damage and get a few buffs of either soul harvest or cast haunt and locust swarm as well so enemies are affected by it then we group them up and blow shit up um, but yeah horrify is definitely handy because we do take a shitload of damage in this it's not very tanky at all so but once you get your soul harvest uh buffs up then you'll be, you'll be fine going into the passives we're keeping grave injustice for life and mana regen as we kill enemies um, I'm using bad medicine, so when you deal poison damage to an enemy, its damage is reduced by 25% and haunt is poison damage, so it's more damage reduction, but I mean you can you can sub this out for jungle fortitude, some people use um, spirit vessel, it's, it's totally up to you, I find that bad medicine, I don't like enemies hitting me too hard, and with this particular set and build you do get hit pretty hard, swampland attunement for uh, more Resistance against physical poison and all other effects. And lastly, we're using Creeping Death, which actually makes Haunt and Locust Swarm last five minutes. And when enemies are affected by this, like I was mentioning before, when you cast Soul Harvest, they boom, explode for all of that damage over time. So Soul Harvest basically increases all that damage and makes it all just blow up into one, one amount of damage, if that makes sense. So definitely Creeping Death is a must for this build. And you're probably wondering why we don't have Confidence Ritual. Good question. We actually do. It's our fifth passive from our Hellfire Amulet. So make sure you have a Hellfire Amulet and make sure you have a really good passive. Um, I'm using Confidence Ritual because I want to use Confidence Ritual. I would have subbed out one of those other passives for Confidence Confidence Ritual anyway. So definitely handy to have an amulet. So we can kick off gear right there. Hellfire Amulet with a handy passive. 
Uh, Jade Harvester Helm, you definitely want intelligence, crit damage, uh, sorry, critical hit chance, and either vitality or something else that suits. I've just left um, life per hit for now. I'm not, I'm not making this into the perfect set or anything like that. I'm happy with life per hit anyway because of all the damage we take in this build. We definitely want Jade Harvester's Joy, Intelligence, Vitality, Resistance to all elements and armor. You can definitely sub out armor for cooldown reduction, up to you. Uh, Jade Harvester's Peace, which is the chest piece, definitely Intelligence, Vitality. Uh, nothing really handy with the other stat because we don't use any pets. There's nothing really we can enchant to help us with this build, so all good there. The gloves, intelligence, armor, critical hit damage and critical hit chance. Obviously I will be subbing out armor for vitality, but armor is nice. Like I said, I don't like to take a lot of damage and you take a shitload of damage with this build and with this set. So you guys trial out for yourself. You can definitely sub out armor for vitality. Lakumba's ornament. Um, now we want to change cold skills to poison skills. I haven't done that yet. Uh, Definitely intelligence, vitality, and critical hit chance, and make sure that you change your cold skills to poison damage. I was just, uh, I'm fresh off the Helltooth uh, set, so I haven't changed my cold skills, f uh, which I've been using for the Gargantuans. It's still there. You do definitely want to change it to poison damage, all right? Definitely change it to poison damage. I'm leaving it for cold damage because I'm going back to Helltooth and I'm going to do some uh, greater rift grinding shortly, all right, guys? I uh, definitely want Haunting Girdle, basically this belt lets you release an extra Haunt Spirit, so very very handy to get enemies affected before you blow them up with Soul Harvest. I'm using Focus and Restraint for this, and I've got Unity in Canice Cube. You definitely, I've seen a lot of, you, you have the option of using Convention of Elements and Unity equipped, uh, but I like the damage increase with Focus and Restraint. So I'm using Focus and Restraint, Unity in Canice Cube, and obviously Unity on my follower. So that works well for me. I'm happy with that. But like I said, you can definitely use Convention of Elements and Unity equipped and then choose another ring to use in Canice Cube. But totally up to you. I like the damage increase. Jade Harvester's Pants and Jade Harvester's Boots. So that's six items. One, two, three, four, five, six. And before I talk about the bonuses, let's talk about the weapons. So we're using Sacred Harvester, uh, just like we do with most of the sets in, with the Witch Doctor. So Soul Harvester, I still haven't got a good Ancient. Make sure if you've got an Ancient, it's obviously a handy damage buff. Um, I've been trying so hard to get an awesome Sacred Harvester Ancient. I've just been unlucky, so good luck to you guys. If you have a Sacred uh, Harvester Ancient, then you'll do heaps more damage. Definitely using the Vile Hive. Basically this... Uh, what it does with Locust Swarm is it gains the effect of Pestilence Rune and deals 56% increased damage. So Pestilence basically allows Locust Swarm to pass into other enemies when you kill other enemies, when you kill enemies that you're focusing on currently. So what I'm trying to say is that it spreads. It allows it to spread a lot more. I'm actually sick as a dog boy, so I'm sorry if I'm like a little bit spaced out right now. My uh, partner decided to give me a cold. Yeah. Fun times, fun times. That's gear done. Let's go into... I guess we'll talk about Paragon. Have to talk about Paragon. Movement speed, we definitely want to get to the 25% uh, cap. So I've got 12% on my boots, 13, 25. Everything else into intelligence. Uh, let's go into offense here. We definitely want to go cooldown reduction first. I like cooldown reduction. Um, also, I forgot to mention in Jade Harvester's helm, I've got the cool re cooldown reduction gem. So, a lot of people do use the vitality gem, but I prefer to use the cooldown reduction gem. Oh, actually, while we're here, let's talk about the other gems. I nearly forgot, boys. Sorry, boys. We're using esoteric alteration for damage reduction. Um, Definitely a must-have for this build like you will see that you take a shitload of damage particularly at the start So when you run into a, your first pack make sure that you use horrify and then spam your haunt your locust swarm spirit walk uh, Piranhas and then bang do your soul harvest and hopefully you'll get your 10 stacks straight away Then you'll be all right the hardest part with this build is probably the start So you can definitely get one or two shot very easily. So isoteric alteration we're using Bane of the Stricken, obviously handy for a bit of extra damage and 25% damage against bosses and Rift Guardians is ultra awesome because Rift Guardians are pretty hard to down with this uh, build, but give it a go guys, you might prefer it, who knows, depends on your playstyle and definitely Bane of 
the trap for piranhas triggering all this extra damage. All right, so those three gems and intelligence gems and all of the gear except the helm, which we're using the cooldown reduction. Let's go back to Paragon. I'm sorry, boys. So definitely cooldown reduction. Then we go critical hit damage, critical hit chance. We want to sort of keep those even-ish. Uh, and lastly, we're going to attack speed. With defense, you want to resist all first, then armor, then life, and then put everything else into life regen last. Utility, we want to start with resource cost reduction, area damage, then life on hit, and then gold find in that order, okay? And last of all, we'll talk about Can Ice Cube. So in Can Ice Cube, I have Soul Smasher again. What it does is when you kill an enemy, it explodes for 600% of your life per kill. We do have about... Not about, but exactly 18,544 life per kill. So times that by 600%, and that's how much damage extra we do when enemies die. So we're blowing up shit with Soul Harvest, and shit's blowing up because of Soul Smasher. I think it works well. The only other weapon I'd put in here is the Furnace, which I haven't seen this season yet, oddly enough. But I do have several Furnaces in non-season. Just been unlucky. Uh, we're using the Green Reaper. Basically, when you attack, you have a chance to summon these Skeleton Mimics, they call them, and they cast your pretty much any of your skills but piranhas are very handy when they cast it because they group enemies together for you so that's pretty handy um, you can swap it out for something else if you wanted to but because we don't use pets there's nothing else really that good I find mimics is is reasonably well and like I mentioned unity um, we have to make sure that with unity you also your follower has unity equipped as well so damage is split between the two of you and it'll allow you to stay alive a lot longer so it does look like uh, Damage reduction is overkill, but hell, trust me, you need it to survive. That's pretty much it, boys. Now you got to just give it a go. Like, you, you saw me playing at the start. Basically, just spam your haunt, spam, 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 and spirit walk into enemies. Cast Locust Swarm, Piranhas to group them together, and then BOOM! Use your Soul Harvest, and Soul Harvest will pretty much obliterate everything in there. And obviously, multiplying life per kill with Soul Smasher for 600% damage, in addition to all the enemies that are killed. So, group them all up, and bang. There's going to be explosions galore, motherfuckers! Alright guys, I'm gonna go have a really hot bath, as you can probably sound, I'm extremely, as you can probably hear, I sound extremely sick, and I am, so, definitely wanted to do this video anyway, sick or not, it's been three days, so I apologise guys, I have been recovering, um, don't forget to subscribe, show your support, leave me a comment if you're not sure about anything, I love interacting with you guys and, and helping out in any way that I can, if there's anything that I left out, let me know, and I'll definitely mention it in my comments, I'll explain everything, until next time, Panic 13, motherfuckers, out!